Tonight, a KC24 exclusive. Congressman T.J. Cox pulled off one of the biggest upsets in this last midterm election. Many pundits called the race in favor of the incumbent, David Valadeo. But 22 days after election night, Cox declared victory. Cox has just completed his first 100 days in office. We paid a visit to the freshman congressman in D.C. to see how he's settling in. You got the name plate in. Was it up right away? Well, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, no. So, so, you're, you're, so not only was I the last race, but I was yeah. the last name plate that, that, that got yeah. put up as well. I figured and, and so. And so uh, that only got put up about a month or so ago. It's taken a few weeks for freshman Congressman T.J. Cox to settle into his new digs on Capitol Hill. But his office wasn't too hard to find. It was. It was actually uh, 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 Congressman Valadeo's same office. Mm -hmm. And so it was very easy to, to walk right in. And, uh, Did he and get leave going. anything behind for you? No, yeah, there, you know, all of the T's and the J's were on my keyboard. <laughs> all right. The last congressional race in the country turned out to be the punctuation of the so-called blue wave. And while the transition of power went smoothly with David Valadeo, his first meeting on Capitol Hill as chair for the House Natural Resources Committee was short-lived, only lasting 12 minutes. But uh, we'll have to run off and vote. You know, we can. Uh, Relax, uh, uh, grab a, a drink of water, or use the facilities. We'll be we, uh, right back and uh, uh, readjourn. Thanks so much. I want to say one bit and twice shy, but now we know where the other side is, is really coming from, right? More about politics than policy. And I can tell you, I'm here for policy to be able to make a positive difference in the lives of the people we serve, right? Not to play political games. His first 100 days in and the 21st district congressman has the political lingo down. The former engineer's passion is climate change. Convincing his colleagues of it on the other side of the aisle is something he may never be able to accomplish. But he does use a vital resource in his office that could bring some clarity to the hot button issue. It's a solar to hydrogen proposal from him, what, 44 years ago. A pamphlet on how to obtain renewable energy. It was authored by Cox's father, a top chemical engineer at the University of New Mexico. His father's work inspired him to fight for natural resources, something his family has talked about at the dinner table for decades. I'm one of the very few uh, freshmen that are chairman of a subcommittee. Right, the Committee on Oversight of Natural Resources, which has a direct hand in delivering water for the Central Valley. You know, not a, most importantly for our communities, but for our farms and our ranches. Uh, the congressman has also had to overcome some questions over his lack of disclosing all of his financial dealings during the campaign, including an audit from the city of Fresno that was not illegal, but it did cite sloppy records were kept for Granite Park. Cox says he's now divested from the project. It was 20 acres of weeds. It was a public nuisance. It was a homeless encampment, right? And, and Terrence came along with the assistance from me, and they turned it into this public recreational facility at no risk to the city, no cost to the city, right? Less than I were spending before. That's being used by thousands of people every day, right? I kind of just wish that they would say thank you so much for what you've done, right, to make this available to the city. Through it all, the congressman admits he's still learning the ropes, and the long hours and time away from his four kids and wife is something he has to get used to. But he's finding a way to enjoy the finer things about his new gig. The nicest thing about this, uh, uh, about this office is on the seventh floor, right? Right. And you, you can go outside, right, <laughs> and go on a tour of the Capitol and see it right there. It's uh, fabulous. And, and just right out your bathroom door. Right out of the bathroom door. So there you go. Yeah, he showed the me the bathroom. View, the best view in the house, huh? Yeah, right <laughs> outside the toilet there, pretty much. But uh, he's having a good time so far. You saw some rough patches there on Capitol yeah. Hill during that subcommittee hearing. But Some, uh, some nerves, I'm Some sure. nerves. He had some nerves. But uh, he feels like he's settling in. We'll see uh, how, it, how it really kind of maybe moves forward in this 2020 election because again once again they'll be ready to go in another election so it'll be interesting how yeah, that pans have, out for him he'll have to go at it all over again he will he will